Yes, yes. Come on in. Hope I'm not disturbing you. You said two o'clock, and two o'clock it is. Yeah. Besides, what else would I be doing on a Sunday afternoon? Well, I... Uh... Take a seat, why don't you? Yeah, uh... Oh, go on, Moxie. Can't you see I've got a visitor? Ah, <laughs> cheers. Neighbour's cat. Yeah. She's taken to coming in here, and it's company. Oh. So, you want to talk about my new flat? Yeah. As you know, the builders are already getting on with the renovation work, but I want to make sure it ends up exactly how you want it. Yes, Lillian said. Good. So, if you've any suggestions, any little alterations or additions to make, now's the time to say. Oh, right. Now, I know you've seen the plans, but... It's hard to be sure. What suits me now might be different in a few years' time. Oh, yeah, well, that's just the kind of thing we need to talk about. And with my hips, you know. Yeah. Oh, uh, how is that hip of yours? Still on the mend? Not too bad, thank you. Good. Glad to hear it. Perhaps not quite as good as it was before the fall, but uh, I can manage. So, rather than us sitting here, why don't you let me take you over to the new flat now? Take me over? Yeah, so at least we can see what we're talking about. Oh, so your boss in here yet, then? Now then, Joe. Elizabeth Jay. Archer. I want those. Boys. Let me have those. I'll find you another pair. Thought she might have brought them twins along with her. Yes, it's... Uh, sorry, what, Joe? Lillian Freddy Pargeter. Oh, uh, no, not today. It's a bit all too busy. Aye. Getting ready for the deck of the hall. Putting up all the decorations. Oh, that could be. Uh, opens tomorrow. Didn't you see the flyers? Oh, wow. Well, These well. scissors aren't sharp enough. Yes, they are. Yeah. Look. Cut the paper like this. It's a bit narrower. And then we can twist it into streamers. Yes. So, hey, would you like some of this, Annie? I can make you a nice little sprig to take home. Yeah, not right now, Joe. Maybe closer to Christmas. Oh, here's your mummy and Jake and Mia. Oh, hello, sweetheart. Busy making all these lovely streamers to hang in the tree. Yeah, hello there, Abby. <gasps> oh, and you can keep away from me with that mistletoe, Joe. I wasn't born yesterday. Hey? Oh, all right, then. Just the one. You? <laughs> oh. <laughs> As you're such a handsome young man and you helped set up this lovely tree dress. Yeah, well, hey, I was running round this orchard when I was little than Abby. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, Vicky, this could be your last chance. Heard it? To grab your fresh, locally raised turkey for Christmas dinner. Eddie. Uh, if you put your name down now, I'll save you a nice one. Sorry, no, we, we shan't be needing one, Eddie. Aye? No, you see... She uh, didn't want no mistletoe, no. Vicky and Mike are coming round to ours for Christmas Day. Oh. Oh, yeah? Isn't that nice? And Roy's already booked our turkey. Oh, well, fair enough. Enjoy your afternoon, any Roy. Yeah, the dancing's going to start, too. Ooh, dancing. The tree fairies. The kids from the dancing school. Oh, yeah. What, in those costumes? Oh, it's quite mild, to say. As long as they keep moving, they'll be all right. Well, I think it's a lovely idea. And the kids are having such a wonderful time. <laughs> There's George, look. With Caroline. Oh, uh, uh, Painting his uh, jam jar for his lunch. Oh, he looks happy enough. Yeah, for now, yeah. I know William's been worried about him. Yeah. Still no sign of Edward and Emma? No. Well, so wouldn't they bring Kira along? Yeah, well, with all troubles, I dare say they decided to give it a miss. It'd be nice for George to have his mum along. Oh, you can see why they're not in a party mood, Dad. Yeah. They ain't told George yet, have they? About the mood? <sighs> not as far as I know. Yeah. They'll be out of there soon, by the sound of it, before Christmas. Oh, as soon as that? Yeah. So Clary heard from Susan. Oh, dear, oh, dear. He's no fool, is our George. He'll have picked up the something going on. Yeah, uh, well, uh, I'll, I'll go and have a word with him. No, you stay there, Dad, I'll go. No, 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 you got your turkeys to sell. I'll go and help him with his lantern and see if I can cheer him up a bit. The builders aren't in today, but they've been making good progress. Oh, yes, it's coming on. They can see. New central heating all round, draft-proof windows, and there'll be a new carpet in the hallway. 
What about the kitchen? Oh, right. If you come this way... You all right there, Joyce? Can you manage? Yes, I'm doing fine, thank you. Good. Now, as you can see, they're still working on the kitchen units, but if you have a look at this flooring... Oh, very smart. Oh, no, 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 not just smart. That is a special non-slip surface. Non-slip, eh? Yeah, they were going to use the normal tiles, but I got them to change it for this, you know, with you in mind. Oh, yes, that'll make a big difference. Yeah, it might save you from another fall, eh? You've only got to spill a drop of water. The number of times I've nearly come a cropper on our old lino. And look, all the cupboard catches and drawer handles, they're designed for easy use. Yeah? And nothing so high up that you can't reach it. Oh, that'll be handy. Anything to make your life simpler, Joyce. And listen, if you've got any more suggestions, it's still not too late to make a few changes. Well, I can see you put a lot of thought into it already. Yeah, just... Just think of yourself in five, ten years' time. What would make things easier for you? Well, let me see. What about some rails to hold on to? Yeah? Grab rails, in case I get even more doddery than I am already. Yeah, good plan, good plan. And where do you think they might be most helpful? In the hallway, for a start, especially between the bedroom and the bathroom. Right, OK, we'll have to see to that. And in the bathroom itself, of course. OK, so why don't we go and have a look at that now? Can I light it? Oh, you best let me do that. There, 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 there we go. Yes. Ah, looks a treat, don't it? Hey, you see all the colours? Oh, yes. Ah, you've done a proper job there. I reckon you're a real artist. Mine's the best. Well, hang it up then, shall we? <laughs> Let's let see how high up you can reach. Now he's talking about dyeing his hair. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, to cover up the grey so he doesn't feel like the odd one out. <laughs> really? Oh, don't tell him I told you, will you? No, no. I but... mean, well, to be fair, he is the oldest dad there by quite a long way. <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's not serious, is he? <laughs> we better not be. I told him I'm not allowing it. He'll look odder still with his hair dyed. Oh, I like him the way he is. Grey and proud of it. Mm. When's your next class? Wednesday. I'm not sure what we'll be doing, mind. I hope he's been helping you with your breathing exercises. Oh, yeah, yeah, both of us together. A few minutes before we go to bed. <laughs> no, he's been really sweet, bless him. I mean, it's not easy for him, but he really does want to do it right. Oh, of course he does. And I'll soon have to start working on my birthing plan. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they've given me a sheet with all kinds of questions to think about, like a, do I want warm baths or a massage? Mm, so what's it going to be? Scented candles and new age music? <laughs> no, nothing too far out. No home birth, nothing like that. Oh, no. No, of course. If I'm honest, I'd have liked the birth centre in Borchester, but because she has Down syndrome, it'll be a hospital birth in Felpersham. Yeah. I mean, the paediatrician will be on hand. Well, I'm sure that's all for the best. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. No. And I'll have Mike there with me. I'm quite happy to leave it to the experts. All I really want, Hayley, is for her to be born the safest and quickest way possible. Yeah. Well, you'll be in the right place for that. <laughs> I got some more screamers. Oh, well, you, you hang them up, but I've got to sit down for a bit Keep the weight off my feet. Hey, Dad, guess what? <laughs> Look at my lantern. Hey, oh, yeah. That's great, eh, hey, Georgie? I reckon Santa himself couldn't do better. Oh, uh, he's put a lot of work into it. Yeah, and Dad, you'll want to hear this. Yeah, well, go on, eh? I uh, just took an order for our last bird. A turkey? Yeah. I shifted half a dozen since dinner time. Well, you mean you sold a lot of them? <laughs> Not bad, eh? Oh, huh? <laughs> and still three weeks till Christmas. Well, a lot better than we did last year. Yeah, well, it's all down to my new marketing strategy. Uh, hit them hard and hit them early. Uh, well, nice to have some good news for a change. So, uh, what about the mistletoe? Uh, you had any takers? Oh, one or two. Well, I reckon next weekend will be better. Uh, it's up Bartleby and fetch it down the green. Yeah, you do that. Yeah. As for now, <coughs> I might give it half an hour then to call it a day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't want the damp going on your chest. Yes. And it don't look like our Edward's going to make it. No, no. He'll be started on the milking by now. Yeah, well, 
Let's hope he'll still have cows to milk come the new year, eh? Yeah. Of course he will. He can beat this. Yeah, well, I know that's what we told him. It's but... true. He's a better farmer than I ever was. He'll pay off his debts. Then as soon as he's back on his feet, they can get a place of their own again. I wish there was someone they could do to help him out. Oh, he's not on his own, Dad. He knows he's got us here to support him. Still, losing their home. Well, there ain't going to be much of a Christmas for him, is it? Eh? Grandpa Joe? No, are you, you all right then, Georgie? Oh, I think your dad's looking for you to take you home. Can I take my lantern home with me? Oh, oh, oh yes, you want to keep. I'm going to put in my room for Christmas decoration. Ah. Uh, in your room, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Great idea. Yeah, you, you do that. Well, I hope I haven't tired you out, Joyce. No, a little trip out. Quite a treat for me these days. Good. So, I'll get onto the builders first thing tomorrow and pass on all your suggestions. Right. And I'll get round there as often as I can, keep a close eye on the situation, make sure the work gets done to the highest possible standards, all right? Thank you. Oh, that's very kind. No, no, any good landlord will do the same. We do our best to keep our tenants happy. Well... It's just a shame it's all come too late for Arthur. Yeah, well, I, uh, I did suggest... And I have to say, Mr Crawford, nice as Lillian has been to me, perhaps if you'd taken as much trouble keeping this place up to scratch, then my Arthur would have been able to enjoy it too. Yeah, well... Huh. Still, we can't turn the clock back, can we? More's the pity. No. OK, well, I'll, um, I'll see myself out. right -o. And uh, if you have any more thoughts about the flat, just give us a call, won't you? Ow! Oh, damn! Mm. I'm sorry, sorry. Tom, are you OK? What's the matter? Oh, nothing. I'd slept through the alarm. Oh. I'm going to be half an hour late for milking. Mm. You were so tired last night. Yeah, well, I shouldn't be having to do all of this five mornings a week. On top of everything else. All this meat for the hampers. You should have another go at your dad. Oh, no. Get Trevor to do another shift. Mum and Dad aren't budging. They won't even ask him. So, Pip, then? She already said no, remember? So ask her again. Oh, maybe. Anyway, I've got to go. Mm. Right. Bye. Mm. Bye. Hey, try not to get too stressed, OK? <sighs> that was Dad on the phone. He and Linda have asked us over for supper tomorrow night. Ah. Oh. Think James will want to go? Yes. It'll be good for him to get out. Oh. Well, look, I'm just off to Mum's to take her shopping. Oh, can I catch a few stamps off you? How many? A uh, couple of dozen. Be great. Oh. It'll save me queuing at the shop. I finally managed to persuade James to have a go at our Christmas cards. So, you're sending joint cards again this year. Saves on the postage. Mm hmm And you know how hopeless James is. If I left it to him, he'd never send any. Yes, my well, darling, I'm afraid I can't help you. I'm quite short myself. Oh. We do have a local post office, Leone. Hello, Lillian. Oh, Brenda. Look, can you tell Matt I'm going now? I'll be back in the office this afternoon. Uh, actually, Matt's gone out too. He asked me to tell you. Oh. OK, well, I'd better get back to James before he finds an excuse to do something else. <laughs> well, did he say where? Uh, yeah, to Glenside Court, to talk to the builders about the changes. Changes? Yeah, the alterations he discussed with Joyce. You know he took her around there yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, he uh, he did mention it. He wants to run it all past the site manager, check out all the details. Oh, yeah. I see. Well, um, it's very conscientious of him. Yeah. I think it really matters to him. He's been putting a lot of thought into it. Mm. Mm. Better late than never, I suppose. Anyway, he said he'd be back in by lunchtime. All right. Well... I'd better be on my way. Oh, and Lillian, um, he asked me to give you updates on our other work in progress. 
So as soon as I've got it Look, all together... Look, I must go, Brenda. Mum will be waiting. Can we talk about this later? OK. You can try. But I really don't think she's going to change her mind. Bye. Was that Tom? How did you guess? I wasn't going to give up, was I? No, he wasn't. He was hoping Pip would take on some more milking. Just another shift. But even so... Yeah, she's really busy, isn't she? With her skiing trip and everything. And well, exactly. Not to mention her uni work. And she's already said no to him once. I thought he'd give her mum a call. Cover all bases. <laughs> That's about it. Oh, she's lucky. People chasing her for work. Yeah. There's not many can say that these days. Anyway, I'm sorry, Emma. You were telling me. Yeah, yeah. Well, Ed thinks I'm mad. Does he? Well, he's not actually come out and said it, but... Oh, I'm beginning to wonder if he's right. Well, if it's tomorrow morning, I'm well, sure it's not too late to change your mind. No, I, I want to see it through. Mm. I want to be there and look Keith in the eye when he stands up in court. Show him I'm not ashamed of what I've done. Oh, good for you. And the rest of them. Tracy. I suppose she's likely to be there too. Oh, yeah. Well, if Keith's just there to be sentenced, hopefully it shouldn't take too long. No. Anyway, you don't mind if I come in on Wednesday instead? No, no, of course. I'm sorry to mess you around. Emma, it's fine. It makes no difference to us. OK. You go and do what you need to do. Thanks. Right, I'll, I'll see you then, Ruth. Yeah. Bye, Emma. Supermarket was half empty. No queues. Monday morning. Yeah. I, uh, I presume Matt's still over at Glenside? As far as I know, yeah. So what was this urgent business you wanted to talk about? Oh, yeah. I've um, just finished it now. I've um, been working on it all morning. You better explain it to me, darling. It's a detailed update on any work in progress on all of our tenanted properties as of the end of last week. Mm-hmm. And this sheet here, this is a list of less urgent jobs that are still in the pipeline. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Have you done all this since you came in? Yeah, well, Matt wanted it done ASAP so I could pass it straight on to you. Hmm. Well, certainly helps to keep track of things. Yeah. Oh, and he's also asked me to give you a breakdown of the status of our ongoing property deals. And it's going to take me a while longer to get that done, so... Later this afternoon? Yeah. Yeah, that'll be fine. Well, look, I'm, I'm going for lunch. I'll take these with me. OK, then. So, any message from Matt? If he calls? No. No, I uh, don't think so, Brenda. Tea? Thanks. I wanted to catch you before I started milking. Yeah? Oops, sorry. Oh. That's George's. Just leave it. I told him to put it away this morning. OK. Oh, I might as well be talking to myself. It's bad enough with all Kira's stuff lying around. Yeah, that's you I'm talking about. It must be a difficult time for you. Oh, I'm sorry, Ruth. I mustn't go on about it to you. So how does George feel about the move? <sighs> he doesn't know yet. Still haven't told him. Oh. I just don't know what to say. How are we going to break it to him? This has been his home for almost as long as he can remember. How are we going to explain? Well, you can tell him it's not going to be forever. Isn't it? We don't know. Don't know how long it's going to be. Well, maybe you could make it sound like a bit of an adventure. You're going to stay with his nan and granddad for a while. Oh, maybe not. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm probably worrying for no reason. He's probably going to be fine about it. He's quite a big boy now. Yeah. And he'll have a bigger room. And there's a widescreen telly with satellite downstairs. Oh, well, there you are, then. Mm. It's timing, really. Finding the right moment. OK. Well, I'll tell you why I came over. It's partly about your timing. Have you decided when exactly you'd like to move up to your mum's? Oh, yeah, I was talking about it to her. She thought maybe the week before Christmas. OK. So the kids would have a chance to settle in before it all starts. I know it's quite soon. No, no, don't worry about that. Look, what I really came to say is... Well, 
I know you say a rent holiday won't help. Oh, it's really gone too far for that. OK, so I've talked it through with David and we won't be wanting the month's notice. So? So you can just move out whenever it suits, if that helps. Oh. Oh, yeah, it will. Oh, thanks. Good. So that's settled oh, then. Thank you, Ruth. That's, that's great. I got Morris to stay on another hour and a half. Hey! How did you manage that? <laughs> With difficulty. So you're going to crack on a bit? <sighs> yep, no choice, Bren. If we're going to get enough meat for the hampers... OK. I'll see you when I see you, then. Not sure when. Oh, and um, any joy with Pip in the milking? Nah. She just texted me back. Too busy getting ready for her skiing holiday. OK. <sighs> All right for some, eh? Tom. What? Doesn't she deserve to have a bit of fun in her life? Oh, lucky her. And I'm doing all I can to take the pressure off. All our cards and Christmas shopping. I know, I know. In case you'd forgotten. Oh, yeah, uh, you don't have to worry about a present for Rich anyway. I'll sort it. Oh? Yeah, I've got a couple of ideas. If you're sure you've got space in your busy schedule. Yeah, well, I've still not told you the latest. Oh, what? I got an email this morning from a financial services company. They'd seen our promo material and wanted four dozen hampers as freebies for their hey, clients. Tom! Four dozen! That is great! Whoa, 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 wait. I'll have to say no. I'm sorry, we can't do it. What? Why? There's just no way we can turn them round before Christmas. There isn't time. OK, if you're sure. I've been agonising about it all afternoon. I mean, it really kills me to turn down good business, but... Well, at least it's for all the right reasons. Is there a right reason? Well, there's too much demand for your product. You're turning them away. It's got to be good for your brand image. I guess, but... So leave them hungry now and they'll come back for more. Mm. We can hope, I suppose. Mm. OK, well, I've had a busy day too. I'm going to head on back, have a bath. Right. Good luck with the meat. I'll keep your tea warm for you. Yeah. Thanks, Brian. You going to join me, Lillian? Uh, thanks, darling, but uh, I think I'll pass. Oh, come on, just the two of us. I can't sit here and drink on my own. Well, I was about to go through and say hello to James. <gasps> oh, well. I've been so busy, I've not seen him all day. Perhaps um, I'll take a bottle through with me. Mm, I wouldn't bother if I were you. James has got a prior engagement. Has he? Mm, he and Matt have just loaded a golfing DVD. How to perfect your swing. <laughs> James and Matt? Mm. Yes, it was Matt's idea. As poor James is pining to get out there, onto the fairway. Yes, I see. It's really quite sweet of him. James stuck here, surrounded by women. It's great for him to have some male bonding time. Yeah, you're right, it is. So, with the boys doing their thing, why don't you and I settle down and watch a rom-com, eh? Hey? Well, now, now we could, but I... Oh, sorry, darling, do you mind? Oh, OK. I'll go and see how they're getting on. Maybe later? Yes! Yes, yes. <clears throat> Paul, darling. Lillian, I am so, so sorry. What for? Well, it's been mad here. Quick calls over the weekend. That's not how I meant it to be. Oh, no, don't worry about that. I've been thinking about you all the time. <gasps> about last week. Oh, I'm missing you. It's so good to hear your voice. Yeah. Yeah, it's lovely to hear you too. Are you OK? Is this a bad time? <sighs> well, yeah. <laughs> it's me now. Sorry, I can't <laughs> talk for long. OK. I just so wish I could tell you when I can get up there and see you again, but I've had a bit of a crisis with a job. Oh, the schedule's all over the place. It's all right, I understand. It's going to take a few days for the dust to settle, but as soon as it does, I'll call you again, I promise. And we can make a plan to meet up. Is that OK with you? Yeah. Yeah, that'll be lovely. Whenever you can. Great. It may not be till near the end of the week. Paul, oh, look, I'm sorry. I'm really going to have to go now. Yeah, yeah, OK. Oh, my love. I so want to be with you. I'll have to try and be patient. Yeah, me too. Right. Till the next time. Thinking of you. Bye. Bye.
collar of brawn boiled and marinated in spices, mince pies using proper mince meat, march pain made into fancy shapes. Wait, wait. I'm going to need an old English dictionary here. What exactly is brawn? Oh, Robert, you know what brawn is. No, I don't. I'm not sure if I like the sound of it. Well, traditionally, it was made from a pig's head and trotters. Mm, yum, yum. But Jill's going to use pork loin instead. So, what? And before you ask, march pain is just another word for marzipan. Is it? Yes. Cathy's going to make it into fancy decorated shapes for sweets. So, pork, mince pies and marzipan. Well, there'll be other dishes too. We want to keep it as close to an authentic Elizabethan occasion as we can. If it's all finished in time... Well, you're not getting behind with the set, are you? No, no. If I work every minute of my spare time from now till we open... Oh, don't be silly. You've got plenty of time yet, and Daryl's helping. Anyway, I've got a couple more hours this afternoon trying to sort this balcony out. You won't forget we've got Leone and James for supper, will you? No, Lindy. Because I'm working late. I shan't have much time to help with the cooking. I shan't need your help. It's all under control. Good. Be nice to have a chance to catch up with my daughter. We've seen so little of her. I know. Well, if she prefers to spend hours at the Dower House, what can we do? I'm sure James is keeping her busy. That's what's been worrying me, Lindy. Yes, I know. He wants her there so he can get her back under his thumb, <sighs> take control of her life again. You think he'll be bossing her around more than ever? Well, I guess we'll see tonight, won't we? No, no, no! Silly! Let me take it. Oh, thanks, sweetie. <laughs> Unless you want to balance it on your nose or something. I'll give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so you're good on those crutches, but you're not that good. As long as we get to drink it while it's hot. OK, so let's find you somewhere to sit down. Um... Hello. You're getting stuck into the glue, Vine. Hi. Hi! Ah, the manager. I want to make a complaint. Oh? Yes, I was hoping for a couple of liveried footmen to carry me around. <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, not part of the service. <laughs> Don't worry, he's doing fine. The exercise is good for him. We're having a lovely time. Oh, good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I was all for an afternoon in front of a DVD, but Leonie insisted... Oh, pop it! That's so not true. He was moaning all weekend about his cabin fever. So I thought... Some fresh air, a lovely festive German market, just what he needs. OK. And if Nurse tells me, I don't disagree. Oh, don't push your luck, you. Uh, well, if you're still around in the new year, you can take advantage of our special Lower Loxley passport offer. Ah, uh, yes, I saw your publicity. Yeah, pay 50% over the regular admission price and you get free entry for the rest of the year. Mm, not much use to us, I'm afraid. Still, full marks for a good promotion. Thanks. Though, it's hardly new, is it? A lot of these places have been doing it for years. Um, I'm surprised you waited this long. Uh, yeah, well, uh, time seemed right for us now. Oh, there's a seat. Ah. Come on, I'll take these and I'll grab it. OK, then, uh, enjoy your wine. <laughs> Will do. Coming, nurse. Oh. Careful, careful, mind you. No, no, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, if you can hold on to these. OK. Oh, OK, I got you. Oh, going to be a naughty... Uh, oh, oh mind! Oh, oh. Gosh, would you be careful, please? My partner's got a broken leg. Oh, sorry, love. Uh, there we go. Ah, that's it. Oh. Excellent. Oh, comfy? Mm, couldn't be better. OK, you take this. Oh. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, yeah, not oh, bad. It's nice. Bit heavy on the cinnamon, perhaps. But so... Aren't you glad I dragged you away from your armchair? Yes, you were right, nurse. Change of scene. And your legs bearing up all right? Hmm. You know, I'd like to find a little something for Ma. She likes those sugared almonds. Then go inside for a quick look at the hall? Hmm. Perhaps we should have asked her to come. Lillian? I know she was busy, but um, well, it might have done her good. Oh, oh. I think her work's been getting to her lately. She's been looking quite stressed. She seems fine to me. You think so? Yes. Anyway, just for once, it's so nice to have you all to myself. <laughs> Elizabeth? Hey, come on in. Come and have a look at these. Oh, the dairy plans? Yeah. I've been checking them out with Lewis. Yeah, I did have a quick look at them earlier. And what did you think? Oh, yeah, I thought they were great. Oh, it's so exciting. I mean, I know they're still outline plans, but 
Oh, you can really see the potential. It's going to look amazing. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. And I needn't have worried about it spoiling the look of the yard. It blends in perfectly. Well, that's why it's worth getting in a specialist. Oh, absolutely. I mean, Lewis said he was good. I believe him now. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure even Nigel would have approved. Yeah, look, look um, sorry to break your train of thought, but... Mm. What? I've had a call from the brewery. From Shires? And? Good news. They want to sponsor us. Sponsor? What, what kind of... Well, they say they're willing to make a significant contribution towards Cranford Crystal and the Rare Breeds. Hey. Yeah, if we're willing to change the name to Shires Rare Breeds Unit. Well... And give them a plug in all our publicity. Yes, why not? We can do that. Oh, that's great news. Yeah, and that's not all. There's more. Yeah, if we give them an exclusive on our drink supplies for our big events, I mean, they're willing to become a sort of official partner. Wow, that's even I mean, better. Yeah, that'll mean more cash up front. Mm. And, I mean, we've still got to work out a percentage. But... Oh, God, that's amazing, Roy. After all your hard work. Yeah, well, a quick response at least from one. Well, it shows it was a great idea and well done. Thanks. Good to feel we're making some progress at last. Yeah, yeah, it is. So all we need now is to get those extra rooms built. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> but however good the plans, there's still a way to go yet. Yeah, I know that. I've got the guy from the bank coming on Thursday, their commercial relations manager. Mm, OK. He's the one we've got to persuade. And if he's not happy, they'll never get built at all. Um, more yeah. venison for you, James. Uh, well, should I or shouldn't I? Oh, go on. There's plenty. Uh, wonderful as it is, I think I'll have to decline. You sure your leg's all right, Poppet? Oh, if it's not in anyone's way. No, no. You must tell us if you're not comfortable. I know, I tell you what. If we all move round a bit towards Linda, ah. then you can stretch it out my way. Oh, uh, I don't want to be a nuisance. Oh, don't be silly. Nobody minds. No, of course Ooh. not. Okay. Come on. Uh, or you'll be saying it's aching all night. Well, perhaps it might be a good idea. Ready, everyone? Uh, if you budge towards the door a bit, Lily. Uh, yes, yes, <clears throat> I'm budging. Uh, Oh, that's it. OK, and round you come. Ah, there. Ah, ah thanks. Well done. That looks better. <laughs> yes, it's all that hopping around this afternoon at Lower Loxley. <laughs> oh, come on, you. What nonsense. Did you no harm at all? Well, yes, you're right. I mustn't moan. We had such a nice time. And if it wasn't for me, you'd have spent the whole day in your chair. <laughs> uh, oh. So deck the hall was your idea? Well, I wanted to see it, and I wasn't planning to go on my own. <laughs> I wasn't given any choice in the matter. Really? Well, not that I'm trying to run your life for you, sweetie. <laughs> no, perish the thought. <laughs> You're very lucky to have such a caring and efficient nursemaid. Yes, aren't I just? More <laughs> uh, wine, anyone? Oh, yes, please. And um, perhaps I will have some more of that excellent venison. Ah, oh, right. <laughs> well, if you bung your plate over... It right. is good, uh, isn't it? Mm, delicious. If I wasn't so full... Well, you were lucky not to end up with pig's ears and trotters tonight. Oh, that would have been interesting. <laughs> he means brawn. One of the dishes we'll be serving for our Elizabethan night. Ah, yes. But no pig's ears, I promise. Jill's making it with pork loin. Oh. <laughs> I still worry. If you try and be too authentic, some people aren't going to like it. Yes, well, actually, Jill was saying the same thing. That's why she's using the pork. Oh, surely you can have some 21st century choices, too. Oh, yes, for the less adventurous. Ham sandwiches and sausage rolls. Or chicken legs. And you'll need something for the vegetarians, too. Hmm. Elizabethan veggies. Do you think there were any? <gasps> I know. I've got it. The latest exotic vegetable straight from the new world. Potatoes. Oh, of course. <laughs> Potatoes, <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Nice one, sweetie. Yes, we, we could have them baked with a nice selection of toppings. Brilliant, mm. yeah, any Great lateral thinking. Uh, <laughs> ah, that's my girl. Beneath that demure and modest facade, there lurks a true creative genius. <laughs> oh, please, pop it. You're making me blush. That's no, quite true, sweetie. That firm of yours just don't know how lucky they are. Oh. Right, um, well, I'll, um... Find us another bottle. Yes, uh, <clears throat> if you'll excuse me, I'd better go and check on the pudding. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks as if you needn't have worried at all. I keep having to pinch myself. Is this really happening? I know. Is this really James? He's being so nice to her. He's letting her boss him around. Almost as if he was enjoying it. Yeah. Perhaps it's some kind of subconscious childhood regression. What? Because of his leg, he's suddenly become the weaker partner, so he needs to be dominated. Oh. 
never mind the psychoanalysis, Robert. I think he just likes being made a fuss of. Mm, yeah. Nanny knows best. Well, whatever the reason, who cares? It's just so nice to see them in a more balanced relationship. Yeah, you're right. Let's hope it lasts. It's still quite early. We could have stayed a bit longer if you wanted. No, 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 you're absolutely right. It's been a long day. Ugh. And I think your dad and Linda were ready for me to go. Yeah, it was nice, though, wasn't it? Hmm. Well, I enjoyed it. Yeah, they were both on good form. I do find Linda easier to manage when she's had a glass or two. <laughs> oh, you make yourself comfy. Now, do you want a cup of tea before I go? OK, thanks. I wonder if Ma's still up. Why? In case you wanted to join me. Oh, I don't think so. All seems quite quiet. Oh, look, she's left you a bottle. Has she? Mmm, cognac. Oh, yes. Maybe better than a cup of tea. <laughs> oh, there's a note here, too. Oh. Uh, can I see? It's not from Lillian. It's... From Matt. In case you felt like a nightcap. Mmm. <laughs> Decent stuff, too. Very nice. Must have set him back a quid or two. That's kind of him. Yeah. So, are you going to open it, then? Um, yeah, yeah, good plan. Might help you sleep. But, um, don't you find it just a little bit strange? What? Well, we both know I'd never been Matt's favourite person, to say the least. Well, you've had your ups and downs. Well, and now, over the last week or two, he's started being so nice to me. So? Well... I can't think what I've done to make him suddenly revise his opinion of me. Oh, James, darling, don't you see? You don't have to do anything. Don't I? No. He just hasn't had a proper chance to get to know you. That's all. Well, maybe. <laughs> I know what a great and wonderful person you are. It's just taken Matt a while to see that too. He gets mixed up with a bunch of villains who terrify a whole family. Then he goes and sets their barn on fire. What? It's a miracle no one was hurt or killed. Then he get, then he gets off with a four-year sentence. I mean, two years with good behaviour. <sighs> two years, I ask you. Well, I guess he did put his hands up and plead guilty. Yeah, 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 yeah. But all the same. Oh, and he shot the rest of the gang. Well, Keith Horriban's lucky I weren't sat in that judge's seat anyway. <laughs> yeah, eat your heart out, Judge Dredd. Oh, you have nothing on me. <laughs> hey, you mean cracking head with that chipper? Gonna have to work hard to keep up. <laughs> well, I was doing it all last week, uh, for Isaac. What, getting in some practice? Well, it's not such a bad job once you've got the swing of it. A good boss, then? Yeah, he keeps you at it, mine, but... Well, I bet he does. <laughs> Anyway, there'll be uh, plenty more to do here. Will wants his old drive cleared. Well, should we move on down, then? Uh, yeah, yeah, before we do that, we uh, might as well spread some of them chips over that bit of mud. OK. So the guns don't mess up their gators. Yeah, we can't have that, can we? <laughs> uh, then if we press on, we should get through in time for me to... Uh, um... What, so uh, another antenatal class? I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to support Vicky, you know. All right. <laughs> Just between ourselves, can't say I'm exactly looking forward to it. Oh, uh, why is that? Well, I mean, breathing exercises, are that were embarrassing enough. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah, I mean, I know it's important, I don't mind having a go, but... Oh, goodness knows what they'll be doing this time. You all set, then? S set for what? The Christmas shopping trip that I've cleared my afternoon specially for. Oh... You'd not forgotten, had you? No, 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 no. But I, I, I've been doing some old cards. I lost track of time. OK, well, I'm ready when you are. Yeah, um, look, I'll, I'll just do this last one. And here. for the rest of the day, I'm in your hands. You tell me where you want to go. Borchester, Felpersham, I don't mind. Well, I, I hadn't really thought. Uh, this is your treat, Puscat. Your afternoon. You can have a good old browse for all the designer shops. Spend as long as you like in the changing rooms. I won't complain, I promise. All right. Oh, look, there's a um, note here for you from James. Oh, yeah? Leonie's taking him down the pub. Oh, right. I don't know what it's about. Oh, yeah, yeah, just thanking me for that bottle. Bottle? Yeah, I left him a bottle of cognac last night. Oh. Yeah, decent stuff too, though, I say it myself. I thought he'd appreciate it. 
So, what prompted that, then? I mean, it's, it's not his birthday or anything. No, I just had to be feeling generous. Oh, wow. Well, it's very thoughtful of you. So come on then, Puss. If you want to have a decent crack at the shops, we'd better be on our way. There, you see? All nice and clean and cosy. Yeah, great. It looks good to me, so, um... Well, now it's your turn. Me? Yeah, come on. Yeah, but... <laughs> we ain't going to be bathing her twice over, are oh, we? Oh, come on, give it a go. I mean, it's only a doll. It's lovely. It's fun. <laughs> mm, OK. It's going to end up the cleanest doll in town by the time I've finished. Now, what did the midwife say we do first? Oh, um... Check, check the water temperature. That's right. Uh, it feels a bit on the cold side to me. OK, so if this was real, we'd add a bit more hot till it feels more comfortable. Uh, yeah, right, so uh, we'll pass her over. And what else do we do? Um, check we've got everything in reach so we can keep one hand for the baby. Yeah, well done. Now, you take her. Go on. Yeah, OK. That's it. Keep her head up mm-hmm. and lower in gently, slowly, so it doesn't surprise her. Oh. Oh, there we go. There, how's that? Great, you're doing fine. Keep her head up. What, like this? That's right. Oh, say you're a natural. <laughs> Don't tell me you've never done this before. The, well, if I ever did, I can't say as I remember. <laughs> Round her neck and under her eyes. Yeah, yeah, all right, I'm getting there. Hmm. Mm. Oh, she seems happy enough. She ain't making a fuss. Oh, Mike. And we keep calling her she. I mean, what about those names? Well, well, um... I still do like Bethany. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely keep it on the list. But then Angela's nice too. And I still haven't ruled out Claire. Oops. Oh, careful. Maybe it's a middle name, what do you think? Yeah, look, can we talk about this later? I'm trying to concentrate here. Oh, I know there's some that'll say he was dead lucky and he should have gone down for more, but how do you feel about it? Oh, I don't know. He's gone down, hasn't he? That's the main thing. However long he's in for. Yeah. Anyway, it wasn't my Barney torch. Do you think he got what was coming? Uh, well, to be honest, Ed. Yeah, sounds about right to me. Yeah? Even if he does get out in two years, I'd say justice was done. And Ruth feels the same. Oh, well, that's good to know. And I hope Emma feels it's all been worth it. Well, I wouldn't say she's over the moon, exactly, but... <laughs> um, <laughs> he got other things to worry about, I know. She should never have gone to court mm. yesterday. No. I did try and warn her, but yeah. she came up against Tracy on her way out. Oh, dear. I'll spare you all the details. Oh. Well, uh, I hope it wasn't too upsetting no, for her. I dare say she'll get over it. Well, it's all thanks to her. You know, to that phone call she made. I know it's caused her a lot of grief, but, well, we'll always owe her for that. Well, I reckon she'd do the same again if she ever had to. <laughs> well, let's hope not, eh? <laughs> yeah, too right. Ugh. Anyway... Listen, apart from that, I was hoping, um, well, I wanted to ask you a really big favour. Yeah? Go on. Christmas. After the year that we've had, me and Ruth, we'd like to spend as much family time as we can. Okay. So, do you think you might be able to cover for us? Well, do what exactly? Well, not the herd, of course, we'll see to that, but maybe feed the rest of the stock on Christmas Day and Boxing Day. Oh. And if you could manage New Year's Day too, that would be fantastic. We pay full holiday rates, of course. I know it's a lot to ask, but it would make a heck of a difference to us. Yeah. Yeah, OK. No, I think I can uh, just about manage it. Oh, great. <laughs> Fit it around the rest of my work if it helps you out. Oh, then, uh... thanks. Thanks. That's really good of you, Ed. OK. Um, right. Oh, oh, oh. And there is something else I was going to talk through. Um, I ought to get down and start milking, really. I'm... Yeah, no. All right. Uh, I'll tell you what. Why don't we meet down the bull later? Um... Go on. I reckon I owe you a drink or two. You don't like the name, Angela. Ah, come on, I never said You that. don't, though, do you? Well, let, let's say it's not the top of my list. But you do like Claire? Uh, maybe. <laughs> don't get too carried away, will you? Well, you want me to be honest, don't you? Uh, well, Roland's niece just had a baby girl, and she's called her Daisy. Oh, yeah? I do like Daisy. Mm. I think it's such a pretty name. Daisy, Daisy Tucker. Yeah. 
Let's so we'll add that to the list then, shall we? Sounds a bit like a cow to me. Oh, my. Well, I'm sorry, I can't help you. All them years as a dairy farm. You're hopeless. Wow. Oh, look at that dress. Hmm? Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, yeah. Oh, I could never wear it, though. Not with those straps. Oh, wonder they've got a maternity section. Uh, well, a few minutes. Uh, Want to go in and have a look? Yeah, go on, turn around. Give us a twirl. <sighs> I'm not sure if I should even be trying it on. Why not? You look great in it, Puss. Fabulous. Yeah, well, it is beautifully cut. Oh, yes. Yeah, call it the even, I can tell. And it'll keep you warm. Oh, I don't know. All that money. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. That's not allowed. You're not to think about the price. This is my tree. <sighs> it's very sweet of you, Matt, but I really oh, don't think... Look. Hello. Oh. Afternoon. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, my word. Doesn't she look gorgeous? Yeah, doesn't she just? So chic and elegant. Oh, aren't you a lucky girl? Yes, well, I, I'm not sure if it Don't really is... Don't you think so, what? Don't hmm? think she looks lovely? Oh, yeah, it's a nice coat. That's unanimous, oh, then, Puss. Yeah. Mm, it is nice, but I, I'm not sure if it's me. Oh, actually. come on, Lillian. It suits you perfectly. That's why I keep telling her. <sighs> I don't know. I, I can't seem to decide. Perhaps I need some space to think about it. Oh, yeah, look, we mustn't crowd you. We'll leave you in peace. Go on, Mike. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see you then. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> so, whatever you think of her fashion sense, in this case, no, she's... No, abs- I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mike. What? It, it is a lovely coat, but I am... Um, I don't know. I'm, um, I'm just not in the mood for this kind of shopping. OK. So let's go and have a coffee while you mull it over. No, I don't think that'll help. Oh, come on, Puss. I want to do this for you. I feel proud to have you on my arm in a coat like that. Look, it's kind of you, ma'am. Perhaps we'll come back another time, eh? We'll wait for the sales. OK, then. Whatever you say. I'm doing a bit of moonlighting, uh, another shift in the kitchen. So you've n- not given up on the tree surgery, then? No, it's great. It's going really well. How's your mum feel about it? Well, yeah, she's on board now. She's right behind me. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, and, and I'm going to get some driving lessons. So in a few years' time, I'll be all set. Here we go. Oh, great. OK, then. Uh, i better get on. Oh, okay, yeah, see you, Jamie. Bye. See ya. <sighs> oh. So, cheers. Oh, yeah, cheers. David? Mm. Oh, I need that. Ah. Yeah, well, it makes a nice change getting out. <laughs> well, let's get the business out of the way first. Ruth and I, we were wondering how much you're paying for your fertiliser and concentrates. No, um, I can't tell you offhand. It's, um, it's not cheap. I'm guessing it's all bagged up. Yeah, I can't store it else. OK, so we get ours in bulk, which is, of course, a lot cheaper. You might save yourself quite a bit if we combined our orders. Mm. We'd have to sort out the details, but I think it could be worth your while. What do you reckon? Look, I, I appreciate this, David, but I'm, I'm not looking for charity. Here. It, it's I'm not just... charity, Ed. It could work out for us as well. The more we order, the cheaper it gets. So why don't you dig out your receipts for the last few months, bring them round, and we can have a talk about it. No obligations. Maybe. Look, I, I, I don't know. I've... Why not? You've got nothing to lose. And you could have a lot to gain. So, how about it, eh? Ten rooms altogether, all of them good-sized doubles with ensuite bathroom. Yes, I see. And it's only a short walk to the main house. Hmm, uh, why did you settle on ten? It's what our advisor recommended. We don't really have space for more. Uh, I, I presume there's no chance of using the roof space to provide additional accommodation? No chance at all, I'm afraid. Oh, that's a shame. It's great two listed, not a hope. Yes, I can see your options are limited. Uh, Elizabeth, oh. Hi, I'm Roy. <laughs> uh, it's not urgent. No, it's OK. Come on in. Um, this is Matthew Watkins, Commercial Relations Manager from the bank. Oh. Uh, Matthew, this is our manager, Roy Tucker. Hello. Uh, pleased to meet you. Hello. And so what's your view on this, Roy? Well, um, it's still early days, but we're very excited about it. 
I mean, it'll be a great way to expand our business, bring in some extra income from our weddings, and just a matter of how soon we can get the work done and start taking the bookings. Yes. Well, as you say, it's still early days. OK, um, I'll pop back later then. Thanks, Roy. Uh, if we need you, I'll give you a call. Yeah, all right. Um, so, Matthew, now you've seen the plans, why don't I take you round and show you the site? When you see it, I'm sure you'll understand why we're so excited about it. Now, I've been hard at it all afternoon, getting my fairy lights ready for the big switch on. Yes, well, I hope you're all set then, Jim. Oh, yes. Ah, good. Because if anyone messes up, I will not be happy. It's his first time, you see. Yes, I know. Well, it's a big day for him, you know. He's been practising all week. Oh? Counting backwards from ten. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, watch it. I know, I know, it takes a lot of organisation. Yeah, well, when I've spent the whole week going around the green, checking everybody's got their lights up, uh, enough spare bulbs, and that they're going to be in tonight, and they know how to switch them on, and in what order... OK, then... OK, point taken. Yeah. Plus, I've had Linda after me about being Lord of Misrule for her Elizabethan night. Well, if you must volunteer for these things... Mm. Yeah, me as well, hey. You know, she's got me running in the bar as well. No escape for any of us. So, yes, I have put a lot of work into these lights and I really want it to go like clockwork. Well, you're right. It's a very important occasion. Yeah, and I want to put on a good show for Jolene and the village, of course. <laughs> Mince pies and mulled wine, the dulcet tones of the Holliton Silver Band wafting over the green. I'm <laughs> sure you'll do it splendidly, Kenton. You've certainly got all the right um, qualifications. Ah, oh, oh, thanks, Jim. In fact... I suppose you could say that my whole life has been a preparation for an occasion like this. <laughs> Indeed it has. <laughs> I was texting Farman earlier, telling her she ought to come. Oh dear, no joy? No, nah, usual lame excuse. She's got a bar to run. Oh, how boring of her. Still, one night apart isn't going to kill you, is it? Oh, there he goes, the last of the great romantics. Well, absence <laughs> makes the heart grow fonder. No, no, seriously, take it for one who knows. If she's still trying to run that place with one staff member down... Uh, she's I... not anymore, she's taking on another part-timer. Yes. Oh, OK. Uh, well, as of last night, you're not keeping up, are you? Hey, not my problem these days, I'm happy to say. Jim, hi. Ah! Oh, look who it is! Uh, hello. Hiya. If he is... Too many already. Oh, I wish. No, I raced over. Uh, he's come to talk to me. Ah. I, I called him at your place. Ah, yes. I guessed he might be down here. Uh, sorry, I lost track of the time. It's it's very kind of you to come over. Uh, are you all set? Uh, yes, I guess so. Yeah. So, uh, are you off on the net to help Jim practice his offspin? No, no, he doesn't need my help with that. If the guy's very kindly agreed to let me interview him for my Boss Such a Life article. Ooh. Oh. So, uh... Are we going to learn all about the secrets of his mysterious past? Uh, <laughs> not in here. <laughs> Come on, Iftika. Let's go somewhere we can talk in private. It's mostly used for storage. Now we're keen to provide accommodation. It's the obvious space to convert. Yeah, I can see it has potential. And your plans are well presented. Well, of course, if you think we can improve them in any way, we're still open to suggestions. Before we go any further, perhaps I'd better tell you what my main concern is. Uh, yes, yes, please do. But ten rooms may be adequate accommodation for weddings, but it's nothing like enough to service the conference market. Well, that was never our intention. To do that, well, perhaps 30 or 40 would be nearer the mark. Our conferences are important, yes, but they've never been our biggest earner, even less so in the present climate. And you've no wish to change that? Well, we've no reason to. Our weddings are regular and they're profitable. That's why we rely on them so much. Well, that's what's worrying me a little. I wonder if this isn't a chicken and egg situation. How do you mean? You're not getting the most from the conference market simply because you aren't able to offer sufficient overnight accommodation. Um, well, we did think about this a few years ago, but we decided against a big expansion. I mean, not just because of the cost, but... Well, also the environmental impact on the hall and the grounds. I can appreciate that, but with your present scheme, you'll still have most of your eggs in one small basket. But we want to grow that weddings market, and we think we can, substantially. Hmm. So where do you think we should go from here, I'm as far as the bank's concerned? If we're to consider offering you a loan, we need to be confident that you'd be able to service it from your revenue. So, first of all, we'd need to see a detailed business plan. Oh, yes, of course. We're already working on it. Good. And then once we've had a chance to look at that, perhaps we can talk again.
Then after Dad's first shop took off, they got married. And then his brother, my Uncle Saeed, he came over a few years later to join them. A real family business, then? Oh, yeah. By the time I came along, they had half a dozen pound stores all over the county. Oh, quite a success story. They worked hard for it. But yes, to quote my auntie Nisha, the Borset Shashars put the nouveau into nouveau riche. <laughs> my dad was the first person on our street to have a satellite dish on his wall. And where did you fit into all this? Well, I'm the youngest of four, and I've got three cousins. They lived right next door, so... A close extended family. Let's say I soon learned to value my personal space. <laughs> yeah, it was a very close and loving family. As far as that goes, I count myself very lucky. Though perhaps there's always been a bit of a rebel deep down inside me. And did you rebel? Uh, yeah, in my own small way. I pinched crisps and tuna from the shop and gave it out to the homeless people by the bus station. I'm sure they were very grateful for them. Uh, then I was overcome by guilt and sneaked the money into the till. Uh, but you chose not to go into the family business. Yeah, uh, that's a bit of a sore point where my dad's concerned. Well, what made you decide to go your own way? Well, my brothers had all gone down that route. I guess I wanted to do something different. I did well enough at school to get a place at uni. Uh, what subject did you study? Maths and business. When I came out, I decided I wanted to teach instead. Any special reason? It's not that I don't want to be rich, but I'd done some part-time youth work and I've seen a lot of young Asian kids go off the rails. I suppose I thought if there's something I can do to make a difference... Aren't you being a trifle modest? From all the trouble you've taken to help our cricket team, I, I get the sense that you're quite passionate about your work. Well, yes, maybe I am. I, I guess that's what keeps me going. Hmm... But uh, you've not yet felt the urge to settle down and start a family of your own. Uh, perhaps that's my rebellious side again, because my family keep pushing me to do just that. Really? Oh, yeah. You know, uh, let me tell you, Jim, my mum got so desperate, she put my photo and profile on an Asian dating website without telling me. Good gracious. Exactly. The first I knew was when I got an email from a strange girl. How did that work out? Well... Actually, she wasn't really my type. Ah. But the next one, Anissa, well, she was really quite nice. We had some good times together. So you left your profile on the site? Uh, well, yes, uh, it was quite fun for a while, until one girl started getting too serious. Oh, yes, uh, I see. Uh, look, you're, you're not going to print that, are you? Well, I'm sure my readers will be interested. Jim, no, please. If you do, my mum, honestly, she will kill me. Don't worry, I'll treat it as strictly off the record. Thanks. But um, if you've any similar stories that you'd like to share, I'd love to hear them. So, how are you doing here, Rhys? Is the punch going OK? Ah, steady. I'm guessing the rush won't come till later on. Yeah, it's a good crowd, though. Got half the village must have turned out. Oh, not nervous, are we? Me? Oh, icy cool. These nerves are made of steel, boy. Ah, great. I made it. Oh, empty. Just in time. Only a few seconds ago. Well, give the man some punch, Reese. Looks as though he might need it. Coming up. OK, right. Well, I'd better get ready for my big moment. Uh, see you, chaps. There you go. That'll perk you up. Oh, lovely. Thanks. I've just had a tough time being grilled by Jim. <laughs> oh, I. So did you uh, give away any juicy secrets? Uh, sorry? You'll have to wait and read it in Borsetshire life like everyone else. Oh, spoiled sport. Hey, uh, what's, what's with this new girlfriend of yours? Girlfriend? Fallon. Bit of a slave driver, isn't she? Is she? I asked Kirsty out tonight and she couldn't get time off from Jack's. Oh, well, you know, Fallon, she's the boss. So maybe we should fix up a double date. The four of us. Oh, so... Who would be looking after the bar, then? Oh, come on, it'd be a laugh, <laughs> wouldn't it? I'd be up for it. Everyone, attention, please. Here we go. Fingers crossed. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for your patience. I won't keep you in the dark any longer. The time has come for us all to switch on and lighten up and get into the Christmas spirit. Are you ready? Yes! yes! OK, OK. Here goes. And ten, nine, nine eight... eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! Very nice. Oh, no. Perfect. Go on, Kenton. Hey, 
Oh, Elizabeth. Oh, hello. You still here? Well, I'm just on my way. Visitor's car had a flat battery in the car park. Oh, sorry about that. Well, you must have missed the Ambridge lights. Oh, I can still go and join them. I was uh, just wondering, how'd it go with the guy from the bank? Not quite as well as I'd hoped. Oh? Oh, In fact, it was all a bit gruelling, really. So what was the problem? Well, basically he's worried that we're thinking too small. Ten rooms aren't enough. For the weddings? I can't see why. Well, that's just it. He thinks we're missing out on the overnight conference market. (laughs) But that's not what we do, is it? No, no. no. Roy, he made me feel a bit of a fool. Unprepared. I I didn't really have an answer ready for him. And he wants to see our business plan. Well, we can soon get that to him. Oh, yes, yes, we will. But we also talked figures. Interest rates, repayments, that kind of stuff. And? Even if they do lend us the money... We'd be paying back something over 70 grand a year. <sighs> That's serious money. Yes. Yes, we'll have to think very hard. Can we really do this? I went all that way and then came back without the cereal. Oh, dear. Ben won't be pleased. I know. It was daft of me, but uh, it was all a bit awkward. Oh? Susan was at the till. Oh, right. I know it shouldn't have mattered. Nobody mentioned Keith, but... Yeah, difficult. She was obviously feeling terrible about it. It was hard to know what to say. Ah. She'd scanned all my stuff, and then I remembered Ben's cereal, but I didn't want to go back. Oh. Got to feel sorry for her, though, haven't you? Yeah... No, another of her brothers put away. Anyway, then I'll have to get by for another day. I'll take this lot in. All right. Oh, Ruth, um, Elizabeth called while you were gone. She's asked us all round to Lower Loxley for Christmas Day. Oh, that's kind of her. I don't know how you feel about it. <sighs> well... It's not just us, it's going to be, you know, real family do. Mum... Um, Auntie Chris, Shula, Alistair and Daniel. And I think Jim's coming too. Mm, quite a party then. Yeah. I'm not sure if Kenton will make it, but... Um, well, I'd like us to go, if you're up for it. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to. Oh, great. Great. And Elizabeth will be pleased too. She sounded a bit stressed on the phone. About what? I don't know, really. Maybe nothing. It means we won't have to spend all Christmas morning cooking, and it'll be fun for the kids, too. Yeah, and Ed will be around to look after the stock, so... No, someone will still have to do afternoon milking. Yeah, yeah, we'll need to have a think about that. So we'll call her back and say we'd love to come. OK, I will. Oh, and we've got Ed coming round after lunch. He's, he's bringing round those invoices. Oh, good. I don't know if you've got time for milking. Yeah, of course. Because it's really you who needs to talk to. Oh, I'm sure we can work out something with the feed and fertiliser. Yeah. I mean, it seems like a no-brainer to me, but uh, he may need a bit of persuasion. And more grab rails in the hallway where Joy said she needed them. Mm, so I see. Top quality, chrome plated, none of your economy rubbish. And I made sure they were properly fixed. Mm-hmm. Well, they look as if they're up to the job. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, if you're going to bother, we might as well do it properly. That's why I went to all the trouble and expense with the kitchen. Mm-hmm. I mean, that non-slip floor sets back a bob or two, but it's no good cutting corners, is it? Yeah, I can uh, see it makes sense. Oh, but you ain't seen nothing yet. Come for here and I'll show you the bathroom. We can't go right in. Some of the ground is still damp, but uh, I think you can get the picture. Well, I... Uh... It's certainly a change from the original plan. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've got the builders to tear them up and put in this instead. Proper wet room, see? Yeah. Specially designed for people like Joyce. Walk in with plenty of space and a fold-down seat. Exactly what she asked for. And I can tell you now, none of this comes cheap. No, I don't suppose it does. So, what do you think? It's everything Joyce said she wanted and more. You think it's enough? Or is there anything else we can do? No. 
No way. I have to say, you've done a thorough job, Matt. I'm actually very... Oh, hang on. Oh, it's OK. You go on and take it if you want. Um, no. Uh, no, it's it, it's it's only, um, Jenny. Oh, right. She'll, she'll have to wait. I'll, I'll call her back later. So, that's about it. I'm going to make sure they crack on so it'll be ready for Joyce to move in on schedule. Good. Uh, well, you seem to have it all in Oh, hand. another thing. I've got them to raise the power sockets in the bedroom so she won't have to bend down. I'll show you what I mean. No, no, no. It, it, it's all right, Matt. I think I've seen enough. Oh. OK. Shall we, uh, shall we get back to the office now? And these are the uh, latest ones, up to the end of last month. OK. So it's gone up again? Yeah. These are crazy prices. I mean, we knew it'd be more, of course, but if you round it up per ton, that's almost 20% more than we pay. I know it's a rip-off, but it's no use me complaining, is it? So we need to do something about it. Yeah, but with my cash flow, I can't put in bigger orders. Yeah, but, so that's why it makes so much sense for you to come in with us. So how, how could we make it work? Easy. You make an estimate of how much you'll need for the rest of the season, feed and fertiliser, and I'll add it to our next order. Then you take it down to Grange Farm as you need it. That's going to be a pain for you, isn't it? Why? We've got plenty of storage space. You'd just have to help yourself. Oh, maybe. I mean, we'd have to bill it somehow. I couldn't pay for it all up front. No, 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 no. You needn't worry about that. You can pay us for it monthly, like you do now. Only you'd be paying a lot less. So mm. it's win all round. So is that a deal? It's it's good of you to offer, but I, I, I don't want to be, like, sponging off you. Oh, Ed. I mean, it feels like cheating getting the benefits of bulk buying when I haven't got the cash flow to do it myself. Ed, don't be daft. It's good business for all of us. How would you make that out? Because... Because uh, the bigger the order, the bigger the discount. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I guess. So, no more arguments? <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to let you back out of this. Mm -hmm. We're going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right then, OK. Just doesn't look like I've got much choice, does it? <laughs> no. <laughs> if you want to go in and grab yourself a coffee, I'll go and see how Brenda's doing. I've uh, got a few things of my own to see to. Well, she seems a bit more chipper this morning anyway. Things are looking brighter on the sausage front. What? Brenda, she's been stressing all week about Tom and his flaming Christmas hampers. Oh, she's not stressed to me about it. No, apparently they're on the own stretch now. One more day and they'll have all the meat they need, right down to the last chip of lard. I'm very glad to hear it. Yeah, oh, and did you get that latest update she prepared for you? About our current deals? Yeah, I did. Good, it's just, you know, seeing as you hadn't mentioned it. Because I've had other things on my mind. Look, I really ought to call Jenny back. Yep, yeah, Priska, hold on. You quite sure you're happy with the stuff I've been doing at Joyce's flat? Only you didn't have much to say about it. What did you expect me to say? What? I told you there'd be no expense spared getting it right. Yeah. Well, it would have been reassuring for me to have had a little bit more of a positive reaction. All right. Yeah, I think you've done very well. Well, that's good. No, I mean it. I mean it. I mean, you, I, I, I can see you've put a lot of thought into it, and I'm sure Joyce will be very happy there. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. I, 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 look, I'm not quite done yet. Yeah, OK. So I made a few mistakes with the waters. It's even possible I didn't quite live up to my responsibilities as a good landlord, as you said. But I'm doing my best to make up for it now, to put things right. It's what this is all about. You know, we all get it wrong sometimes, but this business means everything to me. And so do you, Pusquet, in case you're ever tempted to doubt it. Yeah. Yeah, I know. OK, then, I've had my say. I'll go and do some work. See you later. All right. I'm just going to call... Oh, Lillian. 
Paul, um, I, I, I'm sorry I, I missed you earlier. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. How are things? Difficult. Okay. Well, I, I called about my plans for next week. I'll be coming up for Paul, a... Paul, I, um, look, I, I can't talk about that now. No? Um, I'm sorry, but I'm going to be tied up all day. Okay. Should I call you back to... No, um, no, don't call me. I'll, I'll find a time to call you later. Promise? Yeah. I will. I promise. I warned you. I said it'd be uphill work. He came round in the end. Yeah. Go on, Thank you. goodness. Yeah, but I have a hunch that his feed bill is only the tip of quite a big iceberg. Yeah, he could be right. So we all know Ed's great with the stocking in the dairy... For things to get this bad, I don't think he's been keeping on top of his day-to-day business costs. Yeah, sounds likely, doesn't it? I don't know what kind of software he's been using. Or does he even use a computer? Well, he must be doing his VAT online. I suppose. Well, at least we could offer to help sort it for him. Give him some advice. <sighs> what, after the struggle we had just now? Will he want to take any more from us? Not even if we were tactful about it. Yeah, but it's all about his pride and stuff, isn't it? Mm, so maybe there's someone else. Um, Oliver? No, 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 same problem. He already owes so much to Oliver. I mean, my guess is that if he was prepared to take any more, he'd have already asked. So how about Neil? He's got a good head for business. Yeah, yeah, maybe. If we can think how to get him on board. Well, all we'd need to do is tip Neil the wink and leave the rest up to him. Well, I guess we could give it a shot. <laughs> if you won't, then I will. Yeah, OK, OK. It's Ed's livelihood at stake here, David. Well, not just his, the whole family's. We've got to try and do something. You must have given up on me. thought I'd forgotten all about you. No, of course not. Well, I really am so sorry. I've just not had a chance. It's all I'm right. Sorry. You don't have to keep apologising. Well, you say you've had a crazy week, but I've been charged... Yeah, well, things here that... Oh, they're complicated. OK. Well, same goes for me. But it's done with now. And it's just so good to hear you again. Yeah. And you. And the real good news is, next week's looking much better. Oh? Yeah. So I'll be able to come up for a day or two. Spend the night, even. So if you just tell me when's best for you... I'm, um, I'm, I'm just not sure. Any day you like. I can be there. Lillian? I don't know, Paul. I said things are difficult, work, and... I, I'm really not sure if I can get away. Lillian, my love... Don't say that. I want to be with you so much. It's not so easy for me. I want you too. So come on then. Let's fix up a time we can meet, even if it's just for an hour or two. Lillian, come on. Come on.